is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here. We're going to get a video here today. Bring you guys a Photoshop tutorial how to create your own simplistic banner design now. It's been like at least two to three months since I did my last simplistic video. And pretty much this series is actually like one of my popular series on my channel. And pretty much what I do is try to make the coolest looking thing possible by not doing very ma like many like steps or very hard techniques or anything like that. Very simple kind of stuff and that's what the whole simplistic series is all about. So hopefully guys today enjoy this one here today. I believe it's very, very, very dope. Very just like, I don't know, I get this really like... I don't know, professional sort of, uh, just, it just looks good, like, honestly, it's truly just looks good with the little simple indentures he got going on here, and with the, uh, kind of like a little splash of color a little bit, there, there's, of course, two very neutral colors, but then you got the, of course, a little splash of, I guess, these little crystals, we're gonna call it for right now, abstract crystals, why not, and, uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, guys, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below, and also in the comments section below, I'm really curious to what you guys want me to do for 70k, I'm not entirely sure, but I have ideas, I do have like motives, or it's not motives, or uh, I, how, I guess ideas, period. I do have ideas, period. Um, So yeah, if you guys just want to let me know any ideas that you might have, just let me know. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So yeah, let's get this thing started. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'm going to go ahead and just put my hex codes in the top right, and we're just going to get started, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first thing I actually did on this banner design here today. So what I went ahead and did was I made a new layer. I'm just going to use that layer. This is like my, uh, it's like a, sort of like a darkish toned offset white that I have going on on top of another white. If you guys want to do this, the same exact thing as followed. I literally just took a white brush. I'm just going to do it really quickly again for you guys. I thought it was very simple to notice. However, for some people who might not know, I went ahead and just took like an offset white, which is pretty much right where like, I guess white is, which is all the way at the top. And just put it down like maybe like a centimeter, like three centimeters or so, and you get like an offset white. So I'm going to press OK. I took a soft brush and I just hit a couple times around the banner design. You can see it sort of gives us like this really awesome sort of it's better than like just having a plain white background in my opinion. So I did it really carefully and stuff like that with this little uh, layer here. Where I load the opacity on everything, but you can see the difference. It has like almost like a gradient going here as well. So that's what I actually did for the first layer. However, besides that, let's go ahead and get on with what we're supposed to be doing right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically pen tool out this simple shape just like so. A simple triangle just like that, right? And if I wanted to, I can follow the same exact kind of triangle that I had before. Uh, I started from like around here, went over here. And we went down here just so we have like a very accurate sort of base so basically i have my stuff in the middle here so you can see my 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 sort of uh last extended point for this like really odd not symmetrical triangle yeah there we go um so it starts like maybe like it stops halfway here and i'm just going to connect it and pretty much when i connect it i'm going to right click on a new layer of course make selection or just fill path actually no we're going to make selection because we're going to do it was going to make a selection what this is going to end up doing is going to basically have uh the actual inner triangle here be like i guess be able to paint inside of it just like so you can see the the different colors now it's basically what we want because we're on this new layer we're going to go ahead and just take this primary color really quickly this foreground color i'm going to drag it down to like a nice grayish tone hex code three four three four three four press ok take my soft brush here and i'm going to quickly just sort of like give myself like a very nice edge i'm just like sort of going really nice and smooth with my mouse all the way down here i mean if you want to get darker in a couple spots why the hell not it's all up to you like really what you want to do but that looks pretty good i'm going to press ctrl d to deselect and now i have my sort of little indention thing going on here so this is one of the sort of primary things that i've done for I guess the header itself, right? So what I did was after I pretty much did this, I went ahead and just duplicated by holding all my keyboard and just basically dragging it. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rotate this, and I'm gonna just put it in different spots on my banner design. Now I wanna get as accurate to as possible as I had over here. So I had one that was, I'm just gonna put this down here, right there. So I have one located around over here as well, one over here as well. I have one over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Just drag it over and I'll put it like, so, right, and I believe I had one more up here, right? Yep, it was something like along these lines of, I guess, uh, something like this. We can go with that. Why not? Okay. And that's not bad. So pretty much what happens is you're just kind of giving yourself like this really cool sort of indention feel to it. And in a second, I'll show you guys exactly what I did to actually make it look even cooler. So before I actually do that, I'm going to group these things together by holding shift click and basically shift click on the first one all the way to the last one. I'll select everything in between if you're holding shift, control G to go ahead and group it all together. And we're just going to call this backup. So just backup B1, backup for number one, control J to go ahead and duplicate this entire group. 
I'm going to hide backup number one. And I'm going to just basically merge this entire group together that we have with these things here with control E. And that way I have my one layer with everything in it just like so. Because what I'm going to go ahead and do right now, I'm going to call this, I don't know, step one. Why the hell not? Um, what I'm going to go to do right now is press control U on my keyboard, which if you don't know, it brings up the hue and saturation. If you were to click on a layer and then press control U, it would automatically set a hue and saturation onto that layer alone. So if you kind of look at my example, you probably saw that there was a, like a really odd, not a difference, but a, a cool little color that I had going. I had like a nice little bluish tone going from actual design. Now I did that by clicking colorize, right? And I'm gonna bring my lightness a little bit further down, not further up, I'm gonna say further down, just enough where you can kind of get this nice little blue tint here, which is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you, you can really go with any tint that you want. As you can see, some of these tints look really good, but I believe I went with something along the lines of like, maybe around here, maybe. I don't, I don't want to get too into it, but like maybe around here, I'll say for myself, like 204 or something like that. But what I also went ahead and did was I lowered my passing down as well, just a little bit as well. So I'm going to lower that down and I'll say to about there is pretty good. So now the whole simple part of this is actually just pressing control J, which makes a duplicate of the step number one that we just did. And I'll press control T on my keyboard and I'll press alt and shift hold on to the corner here. The reason I'm pressing alt is because if you don't know already, if holding alt will keep the origin of the that little middle piece right here, this little, uh, I guess, anchor point, make sure it stays in the exact same spot. So if not, you'll, you'll end up doing this, which is what, that's why you're holding alt. And then shift, just make sure all the things that you're putting in are, excuse me, all the, uh, I guess the points are perfectly how they should be. They're not like any distortion or anything like that. It's gonna be perfectly just shrinks. So if you hold both of them at the same time, it's just basically like the, the number one way to make sure everything's centered right. So I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this down just around right about here or so. Right? With my eraser, just I'm gonna press I'm gonna just press number two, because I'm gonna name it number two for now. And I'm gonna press E on my keyboard, which is my eraser shortcut. On my soft brush here, I'm just gonna click and just sort of erase these hard, hard spots here around here. Something like this, like right there, I should probably erase, like that, I should probably erase, these two things I should probably erase. And that's very simple, right? If I just do it one more time, I'm gonna do it one more time. Control J, Control T, Halt and Shift, hold a corner, and then throw it down. We're gonna throw it down pretty far, like right here. Now on this one here, I'm gonna erase as well. I'm gonna erase it so it's not incredibly like noticeable that I just took the same exact thing over and over again. However, just make sure you kind of keep that that vibe going that it is sort of like shrunk together and it looks really good that way too it doesn't really matter how where you go with it just make sure it looks just looks good right um i can probably already notice depending on what this is right here that my angle is a little bit different for my actual like left hand side here but it's okay it doesn't really matter um i'm going to quickly just put in my text really quick so i can just make sure i know where the middle is simplistic i should probably like be able to like type that immediately and not actually have to think about it for how many times I've wrote it in my lifetime. Uh, I sort of branded the word simplistically completely different than what it's actually meant in like the real world. However, it's close enough. Okay, I branded it up not like absurdly different. Okay, whatever. Because I know I know something's gonna someone's gonna say something about it. Uh, at Sesso, we're gonna just put at Sesso HQ. Um, no, designed by Sesso. Make it look cool, right? This one's something in the middle here, so it's not like completely weird. There we go. All right. We'll say that's the middle for now. We're not going to really worry about it too much as I change the color. Um, Boom. Right? Not bad. All right. Sweet. So now I sort of have my base down here. Now, the cool thing about this is the little color that I have going on here as well. So the way I actually ended up doing that was very simple as well. I pretty much made a new layer. I found a very like... I guess a, a nice line here where I can just sort of see a triangle like right here I can see a triangle over here I can see a triangle maybe around here I can see a triangle and maybe around like here I see a triangle you can put pretty much a triangle anywhere where there's a flat line so what I basically did was I'm gonna click over here click over here I'm just gonna click you don't have to actually go all the way up to the top if you want to go for it I'm gonna go ahead and do that for that first one make a nice good size triangle right click fill the path in on the new layer drop down use a color and i'm going to go ahead and just choose a color here and this orange i'm using hex code is ed6a47 press ok press ok again and then right click delete the path now i'm going to go ahead and just re like really quickly show you guys how i do that like the very simple sort of like uh what do you call like like faces is this what you call them like little crystal things right i'm making a new layer right click clipping mask it 
so that basically what's going to be on this layer is only going to be on shown on this layer here so if i wanted to do something like this where i take my pen tool find halfway between these like you know different points this little triangle basically split this triangle in half by using your pen tool right just like so you can just go all the way around on one side connect it right click fill the path in drop down use the white color press ok right click and then delete the path very very simple stuff there right and then you just want to change your blend mode from normal to overlay and then basically just lower your opacity down to whatever you believe looks probably the best and i think that looks pretty good there all right so i'm gonna go ahead and basically just repeat this process a couple more times you can do it as many times as you wish i'm just gonna maybe do like like four more times at most i believe i'm gonna basically make sure i'm gonna go like a little further up this time though i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna start all the way over there and remember, these hexes are not going to be there for like the actual design, but I want to keep them there just because I want to choose this color now. This little red I have going on, EB4453 uh, is the hex code. Okay, press OK again. Delete the path. Right, uh, excuse me. Make a new layer. Right click, clip, mask it. Take my pen tool, split this thing in half. Go around on one side. Right click, fill the path in with white, and then we're going to change the overlay, change it to overlay, and then lower the opacity down. And there we go. All right, and we're gonna put one, another one over where? Like, let's put it over here, why not? Let's put it over here, All right? We're just gonna make a pretty good sized triangle, fill this path in with a color, and the last color that I used was this orange, which is ECA346 is the hex code for that orange. Press, uh, delete the path. Just a rinse and repeat kind of process. We're gonna split this thing in half again. As I can see already, I didn't miss the, uh, the line here. I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit. Hopefully that won't, you won't like be tilted about it, but let's just see. And bring this around over here. Fill the path then drop down to use color. And, oops, not color, white. Press OK, delete the path, overlay, and then lower the opacity down once again. So, now you have this like very simple sort of like color going on here now, which looks pretty good. I'm going to make this gray. And what I ended up actually doing as well was I found a couple more spots I can just sort of put like little triangles in. So if you look at this one right here, there's this is not the oh, okay hold on let's just group this together really quickly so we know what's what this is the tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and just move that but you can see i have a big one here big one here big one here but i ended up putting like three other small ones there's one behind this that you can't see right now but there's actually three other little smaller ones that you can end up putting it in your actual banner design as well which might just give it a little more color which i ended up doing as well so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that again on this tutorial version i'm gonna make a new layer and then just put three more triangles or two more triangles where you believe like it would look good at you know honestly I also, i'm also covering a lot of this right here so i want to probably focus too much up here i'm gonna put them like down here because i'm gonna put I'm, i know i'm gonna put like a nice little uh i don't know what the heck to call it nowadays like i like a foreground hold i don't know we're gonna just names oh lord i don't want to talk about it um okay so for this i'm just gonna basically use let's just use this yellow over here or orange over here and then make a new layer right click it clip and mask very simple rinse repeat process that's the whole entire thing about this whole simplistic series thing is it looks really good when it's finished but it's actually incredibly easy it might look difficult for you for some reason because you might not know how it was done but once you see the process it's very 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 easy and something that a lot of people can catch on to and make it their own and make it a lot more fun than it actually i don't know maybe than it actually is that sounds terrible no we want we want to go with something like you know make it look even cooler than it might be okay that sounds a lot better than cooler than it actually is that just sounds like i'm throwing myself down all right we're gonna make a new layer right click it it's already a new layer color we're gonna choose that color here press ok and then i believe this is gonna be the last one i'll do and then i'll just go ahead and just show you guys the final little thing you can do i messed up here again but we're just gonna keep going with it um sure all right boom white and then overlay and then lower the opacity down all right we're gonna go ahead and just now finish it off with the little part that we did for I, right now at this moment i was doing this myself i was like this looks really cool but what was something i can do that even looks i don't know even cooler right so i went ahead and just did this sort of little I, I don't know what to call it like i really don't know what you would call that but we're just gonna call another shape that was gonna go on here i'm also gonna copy the same exact shape so you guys can see it with the whole the things that i have here i believe i probably clicked around somewhere over here like a little past the middle right and then i went ahead and just clicked and dragged this over here and just like so and then i went all the way around so i'm gonna get rid of this really quickly so you can see what it looks like basically this shape here i pretty much started on this obviously the left hand side i went a little past the middle which is going to be here this right here 
this is a nice little extended point this little extended anchor here so it'll, how do you call it geez what is the word again oh lord uh, we're just gonna call it anchor point for now <laughs> uh, so say the anchor point here um pretty much of course click again you'll get another extended anchor point once you just kind of give that nice curve to it it's very similar it's, quite, it's sort of like literally click drag correct right and then if you want to click drag again you get another extended anchor point over here so i can just kind of move this around and kind of find myself like a nice shape that i can put on like at the bottom as well but it all depends like what you want to do right now i want to use oops i want to use that one up here so i'm going to go ahead and on a new layer right click fill the path in the color that i use for this sort of blue here is the hex code 212636 press ok twice boom there we go all right and then i'm going to go ahead and just basically i'm just going to use the same one just because i'm lazy and i don't really feel like doing another one um how cool would that look not cool at all let's just go ahead and all right we're gonna do another one screw it we're gonna make a new layer take our pen tool here and we're just gonna sort of figure like that something like that very simple bring this up maybe a little bit bring this down here give myself a better curve and maybe move this oops maybe move this point down here something like that and then this curve will be through just like that all right perfect oops let's click this point here and then go all the way around connect the points there and then right click fill it in with that same color that we had before press ok twice i don't know why i'm saying twice it's just once all right now i basically have this here and the literally the coolest thing i just did was i pretty much just went ahead and on both of these layers i made a new layer for it clip mask another layer to each individual one i pretty much sort of like I don't know, you don't, you don't actually have to make a new layer. You can just go ahead and just duplicate the layer here. Let's just duplicate the first one on the top. This is the first shape that I have. Control U to bring up hue and saturation. I'm gonna bring my lightness all the way up to 100. This will make my image white no matter what. Press OK. Simply just take your movement tool and just bring it up uh, pretty much where you can say the middle is, which is around here. And then pretty much right click, excuse me, not right click, change your blend mode from normal to overlay. And then lower the opacity down. And then do the same exact thing for this one up here or down here we're just going to call this up for you and then d for down and then these are d no this is u2 <laughs> up to and then down to just so you guys know all right so control u make this white drag this down as wherever you believe the middle is put it on overlay and then throw the opacity down again and then last but not least i ended up using this little pattern here these patterns are from like literally ages ago but I ended up using this pattern here, and I believe I use it on probably like a darkness or an overlay or even multiply. I don't know which one I use it on. Let's just, ooh, that looks really good. Color burn. That actually looks really dope that I'm going to actually put it on. But these little simple little lines going through, it's just pretty much what you want. Like, color burn looks pretty dope. Like, actually really good. But I believe I use something maybe like multiply or something like that. I don't know which one I use. Maybe overlay. Probably could be overlay. I don't know. It really depends on what you want to work with. I believe color burn... Or linear burn looks pretty good as well geez they all look freaking great all right so pretty much i can just copy this layer style right and then put it on the other one as well which is d paste that there and then i'm gonna go ahead and just put like a little bit of i guess uh how do you say like a little bit of i guess a little lighting a little bit why not make a new layer take this orange i'm gonna click this orange on that top of that color there or shape there i'm gonna take that pink cl uh, click on top of that a shape over there i'm gonna hold alt make sure i select the color click on this orange here and then pink or whatever somewhere over here i'm gonna throw this below these two things however take my uh blend mode put it on linear dodge add lower my opacity down and then i'll go ahead and just sort of let's go ahead and put a vibrance going let's put a vibrance in here let's bring our vibrance up but our saturation a little further down or saturation up but vibrance down something like that right click on the vibrance's thumbnail press b on your keyboard use a black brush to erase and just sort of erase in a couple of different spots right that'll do and then sort of to finalize this i don't think i believe i did this before but no i actually did just make a nice little white brush right on the top of everything lower the opacity down and then you can even take another uh layer here excuse me another new layer take your brush and click on a couple spots of just white brush itself on top of like where the white is and then sort of lower your opacity down a little bit just like so and then for the text in the middle i'm going to go ahead and just put like these three letters or like this color and then these last four or these last three please will change to like this color 
or this one we'll just do that and pretty much you have like a very nice simplistic sort of design going so it was very very easy it's very like it's really cool when you actually think about it more and just not kind of like rush going through it but also i'm messing around with this little this thing here as well while i speak it's very dope so i really think if you like sort of like mess around with your color scheme if you even made like a black background so you can do the same exact technique but just use like a white um i guess uh color when you actually go ahead and use these little indention things it would look pretty freaking dope i really do believe that and it honestly it's just all depends on what you guys can do afterwards right the whole point of this series is to show you guys some really cool simple tricks to make some very simple designs that look really really good as i like mine of course a lot better but it's all about just sort of like how you think about it and how you process it and so yeah hopefully you guys do enjoy hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please leave a like on the video and also turn likes on the video because i see it down below you guys already know that um if you guys are not subscribed to me already you probably should go ahead and subscribe to me um if you're not following me on twitter at sysohq follow me over there i'm almost at 11k over there and uh what else oh yeah of course check out my selfie.com excuse, excuse me check out my selfie selfie.com slash sysohq for any pre-mades and packs as low as three dollars and as always guys um, just have a great freaking day. Have a great weekend. I know I post I'm posting on Saturdays now for like a couple of weeks Just so I, I can get like back into my routine or whatever when it comes to like on Fridays It's not that it's still one video a week So it's nothing changed and it's just a little bit later on it's like 24 hours later So nothing but crazy or whatever like that you probably caught on already Um, so yeah, also want to thank you guys very very freaking much for this recent support on my previous videos Honestly, I really really do appreciate it as well. Um, let me know. Just let me know guys So what do you want? What do you want to do for 70k? If you have any other tutorial ideas, just let me know as well. Um, I already kind of have like a few that I just need to do them. Um, what do you guys think about like an Illustrator, excuse me, not Illustrator, After Effects 3D intro thing? Would you guys be interested in that? Maybe I'll like try to recreate my old intro that I had before that a lot of you guys enjoyed, but I did not make a tutorial on how to do it. I don't know. What do you guys know? I don't know. What do you guys think? So, talk to you guys later. Set some HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling. Do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. And it's 10 o'clock, time for bed, you.